are the top five stories you've been clicking on this week. First up at number five, we're learning more about two pedestrians who were hit by cars in Lewiston on Wednesday. The first crash happened on East Avenue. Police say Mariam Sika of Morocco was crossing the street when a truck hit her. She later died. Then on Park Street, another person was seriously injured after they were hit by a different car. That car was driven by a teenager without a license. Investigations into both cases are ongoing. And number four, a missing teddy bear has now been returned to its rightful owner. Goodwill Northern New England asked the public for help after the bear was unintentionally donated in Wyndham. The former owner said it contained a bag of his son's ashes. It made its way to Hookset, New Hampshire before the organization announced it had found the plush toy. And number three, another person has died at a state-run prison. Officials say 86-year-old Robert Craig died Sunday morning at Mountain View Correctional Facility in Charleston. Craig was serving a 33-year sentence for a murder that happened in Presque Isle back in 2017. An investigation is now underway per standard procedure. And number two, a number of schools across Maine had to close their doors this week. That's because staff and students were out sick. Two schools in SAD 75 in the Topsom area were closed Tuesday. The Greater Portland Christian School was closed Wednesday and Thursday. And all schools in Searsport were closed for most of the week. This coincides with a rise in respiratory cases like the flu, RSV, and the common cold. And our most clicked on story this week, a kindergarten teacher in Bucksport has been charged with assaulting a student. Police say Christian Colbel allegedly assaulted a five-year-old boy at G.H. Jewett School in Bucksport back in October. School district officials tell us Colbel is on administrative leave and is expected to be in court next month. That's a look at the top five stories for us online this week. You can read more about these stories and a lot more news and weather on our website and mobile app.